recording. Yeah. Day one. It's not my, true. I want to switch my earrings so they're on the same side as yours. Oh, okay, cute. We match. My other earring broke. Can you tell where um, um, Alexis has taught me so much about fashion that I have an earring now? I maybe had an earring last time, but I don't know. I don't think you did in the video, oh. but. Ha. Yeah, we're back. Woo. To do Paris Fashion Week Part 2. Couture Fashion Week. Couture. To be specific. Okay, it was couture last time, right? Yeah, this is the same fashion week. We're just doing, before we did the first uh, two days, and now we're doing the last two days. What does couture mean, though? I told you last time, Brian. And it means, (laughs) oh, it's where they make their own stuff. Well, they always do that. And it's, like, different (laughs) because it's, like, about, they're trying to, like, make it different than usual. Like, they're like, oh, we're making it wild. I mean, and you're it's not French. wrong. Well, it's French for this case because it's Paris couture, but oh, everywhere it does it. So. <laughs> so it's not always French. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good to know, good to know. Mm-hmm. But so. couture is basically, like, they're being more artistic than they normally are. Okay, it's yeah. It's more about, like, the fine details, like, handmade stuff, like artisans yeah. working on the clothes, that kind of stuff. Do you think they made up the word for Fashion Week? They're like, let's make up the word couture to mean it's, like, different. I don't know the origins of the word couture. I don't know. But maybe. (laughs) Okay, okay, good. Okay, so this time we're just going to talk about two, because last time I edited and I edited, and our video was still like 40 minutes long. (gasps) So (laughs) this time we're only going to talk about two. So we're going to talk about Rahul Mishra. Your favorite. I remember this guy. Yeah, your favorite guy. He's one of my favorite designers. And then we're also going to talk about Fendi. I don't know who Fendi is. I don't, I never heard of that person. (laughs) <laughs> You'll find out. Okay. <laughs> Elise okay. is gasping in the background. <laughs> right. So you didn't. You barely knew who Chanel was. So I'm not. Really I did not. I know. She, I knew I had a neighbor named Chanel growing up. Mm-hmm. I have a customer at the coffee shop named Chanel who comes a lot. Sorry to give away your information, Chanel. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, in the perfume, and now I know they do fashion too. So now yeah. I know all the Chanel. Now you know every type of Chanel. <laughs> All right, so the first one we're going to look at is Rahul Mishra. Sweet. And I think you're really going to like this one. I um, I haven't watched his show yet, but I do follow him on Instagram, so I saw his Instagram oh, so you, post. Oh, so you stuff. have a preview. So I've seen it already. But I haven't seen the Fendi yeah. one yet. So that'll be I'm, an honest reaction. I'm trying to not be, like, skewed because I know you love this guy. So I'm like, oh, do I, I already love I do love, love this him? guy, but don't okay, let it okay, skew Okay, I won't me. let it skew me. Okay. okay, so this is a quote that he said about this collection that I'm going to read before we start watching it. Okay. He said, in today's world, whether we like it or not, we live for our occasions, even if they're small, by big, fat Indian wedding standards. Oh. What people are realizing now is that being together is what matters most. Oh, he's so cute. Isn't That's so, so sweet. Okay. okay, here we go. I love the setting, how they filmed the snow first. I think that's sand. I think they're in the <gasps> desert. Not snow? hmm Oh, my gosh. What are you up to? Is it Rahul? Yeah. Rahul, I think so. what are you up to? Okay, so the embroidering he did for these pieces, the embroidering alone took six months. Oh, my goodness. I'm so proud of them for doing that. Right. Because, like, is it just him who did this? No, he has a team of about a thousand people, oh. which is pretty small by so it, designers. Really? Companies. Yeah. I did not realize that. Mm-hmm. And it took, like, all a thousand, do you think we're doing it? But I guess you don't know. I but. mean, I don't really know. I think everybody had, like, a role, you know? Right. But one thing that I learned from him when I met him is that he employs a lot of, because he lives in India, he's from India. Right. He employs a lot of, like, Indian art like artisans to make cool. his stuff because he really yeah. wants to like kind of keep it local which is really cool that's so cool yeah and they're showing some of the embroidering right now which is really oh nice. that looks so like so much work it takes yeah but yeah so Dang. the embroidering alone took six months that's insane to me mm-hmm. this one kind of also makes me think of mushrooms like you know well brian it's <gasps> interesting that you say that really because this one is also based on mushrooms it's all about toad from <laughs> nintendo they yeah. love mushrooms okay so sweet. this one he said that he was inspired after watching a life on our planet which is a nature documentary <gasps> about um like nature reclaiming territory after a disaster so like that one i haven't watched it but that one's about chernobyl and like the plants that grow 
um, after like the oh i've seen it actually. oh you have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah so you I... said he was really inspired by that dude his work is so cool yeah okay how they filmed it too they have like an advantage because like they just filmed it in such a cool setting yeah they, they filmed a really cool setting and yeah the pieces are like incredible like, wow incredible that's scenes. so pretty but yeah, so this one's also based on mushrooms. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm really like blown away by like each of these ones. Like, you know, mm -hmm. oh, like how much shape there is to each piece. Mm -hmm. Like it would, like it's like, you know how Chanel was very about structure and their yeah, squares? Yeah, very square. I feel like this has a ton of structure too, but it's like all the mm -hmm. circles, all the swirls. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I love this collection. I think he did like an amazing job. Like, wow. And he's, like I said in the last video, texture is something that's really big for me with fashion. Right. So it's like, um, oh, I just realized I was recording that with the sound on. So hopefully it doesn't fuck it up. <gasps> but anyway. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay, that's all right. But texture is something that's really big for me with right. fashion. And so, like, he just does that so insanely good. Yeah, it's literally mm -hmm. super beautiful. Like, uh, even the color choices, like, they made, it's mm -hmm. just, like, um, his team did such a good job. Like, I know, you know, right? Yeah. I cannot, like, I cannot believe this stuff. Like, I could understand people buying this stuff to be like oh mm -hmm. that one with the face mask yeah that's oh. cool wow and i love all these coats he has a lot of like long tailored coats right and look at how she just like kind of blends in to the background Dude. like it looks like it's mushrooms growing on like oh. a thing he had a plan like wow all right who, where do you think he gets like is his models you think is this in india where he's filming and are his models i'm not sure where he's filming and i don't really know where his models are from but right. i mean i know like i said with his like artisans he likes to kind of keep it local so i wouldn't be surprised if yeah. his models are also like local wow it's literally so beautiful i'm like really like blown away mm -hmm. yeah that's so cool Whoa. Yeah, and the Dawn is the name of the collection. The Dawn. The Dawn, yeah. Oh my gosh, he did such a good job. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I'm skewed because I knew he was your favorite, but I thought it was so I good. I mean, I'm definitely skewed because... He is your favorite. He's, like, probably my favorite designer. Right. And it was so, so good. Yeah, so, but I feel like he really, you know, because there's always kind of a worry that yeah. they're not going to live up to expectations. Right. So... But I think he did an amazing job. It's super unique to other stuff he's done, but you could still, like, if you put it in a lineup with the other stuff right. he's done, you could still tell it was his work. Oh. But it's, uh, like, it's super unique. The colors are amazing. The, yeah. Everything was amazing. The construction, the textures. Oh, so cool. What do you think, Brian? I thought, I, I like, what I would rate it out of five. Yeah. Start to jump all, all right away to, to that. Jump in straight to I would give it a five. It was so yeah, good. Yeah, so you like this one better than the Iris Van Harpen one. I do because I, okay, they also have the advantage because the presentation was so good of the sandy desert and mm -hmm. the way they filmed it was so pretty. And you're, like even showing them doing like. Yeah, I thought it was stuff. really cool that they included the embroidery. Yeah, I think it that's made. That's not normally included right. in and videos it, like this. I think it made me appreciate it more too. That it's like, oh, I can, like you've you can seen see the work that's going into hand. it. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. and how like how much effort it took. Yeah. And how pretty, it was just so pretty, too, like, you know. Yeah, I'm like, absolutely obsessed. I, see, it was very different from um, Iris Van... Harpen. Iris Van Harpen, too, because hers, I feel like, were way more flowy. And I, I mm -hmm. could somehow, like, they're both very beautiful, but in super different ways. Well, that's the thing, is it's cool to see that even though they had the same, like, inspiration of like yeah. mushrooms they both did it very differently super super this mm -hmm. one is definitely more like i i like it's just more earthy like you know like the other yeah. one was more like more colors bright colors and mm -hmm. whatnot and this one was more like you live in the desert like i know maybe i'm just saying that because that photo the photo shoot is in the desert mm -hmm. but like it just felt more like also very much reminds me of like the ocean and like coral reefs I'm like, yeah, Whoa, it, it's it does kind of have a coral vibe. Yeah, which I, I feel like coral is kind of like the mushroom on the ocean. Because eh. yeah. okay, it was super similar. Because coral, I learned, is not a plant. Mm. It's like, it's like a. It's so strange. It's like technically an animal, I well, guess. It's like but I feel living, like it's living, right? Yeah, it but is I mean, alive. I guess plants are, too, but it like doesn't eat the sunlight. It like 
I forget how it survives, but it's like its own thing. Kind of like mushrooms are their own thing. Like, yeah, you know? So it's like true. super interesting. But apparently cool. coral will like eat each other too. So Oh, thanks. So they're a little cannibal. So they're kind of well, a little bit like animal. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Sweet. So you're giving this a five out of five. I loved it. I was like blown away. Like it was so So the good. last video you said you were only giving a four out of five because you didn't. I think I, I I gave it no. less. I think we did. A, what was the last one? I I think you gave it a four out of five. The I, Iris Van Herpen one, and I gave it a four. Oh, four, Iris Van Herpen, the mushroom one. Yeah, yeah. I gave it four point five. I'm pretty sure. I gave yeah, it I think so. Because I loved it. It was such a good like opener, mm-hmm. and I didn't know that there was like more stuff that was so good. Because I remember I gave, who was the show? The third show we listened. We watched Valentino. Like, Valentino, I gave like a two point seven five. Yeah, but I I liked them a lot. Now that mm-hmm. I think about it, they did a good job. But this guy, wow, yeah, so good. Yeah, amazing. See, it, okay, fashion is really cool to see, like, oh, my gosh, they made something out of nothing and made it, like, really. That's, like, amazing. one of the coolest things about fashion, I think, is, like, right. and that's something that I've, like, yeah, that, like, really hits me when I make my own stuff mm-hmm. is, like, this was just an idea in my head and now somebody's wearing it. Like, to that's me, so that's, crazy. it's such a weird feeling. It's like... Make, it's make stuff real. Yeah. But it's super cool. It's a really cool feeling. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. Stuff you can feel. Stuff you can touch. Okay. So this next one that we're going to look at is um, Fendi Couture. Oh. And you've said that you don't know who Fendi is. I, I feel like I, like I maybe have possibly heard of them. Because they're probably... I'm sure they're super famous. They are. Like, you know... So Fendi, yeah, Fendi is super famous. This show, I haven't seen anything from, so right. I'll be reacting with you. Um, but this so is Kim Jones' debut. Kim and Kim Jones? Jones is the new Fendi Couture creative director. So she was probably stressed out. Well, this he, is, oh, he was probably stressed yeah, out because yeah. this is his first one. Well, he was before he was working as a menswear creative director for Dior. And then oh, before wow. that, he was working at Louis Vuitton. So, so he like has fashion experience, but this, this is, is his like first. Big opener. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm spooked for him. Yeah. That would be so scary to be like, oh, I hope people like my stuff the first time. Like, you know, mm-hmm. like this could be you. Like, that could be you, like, being like, oh, my first I couture. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so this, have you ever read anything by Virginia Woolf? I don't know. I don't know who that is. Mm-hmm. She was like a famous poet, kind of like. A while ago. Oh, okay. So like um, 1800s a while I ago? Think or like so. more? Okay, 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 good to know. Um, But yeah, I've read one thing by her, but it was a long time ago, so I don't really remember it. But I, I remember liking it. But um, she wrote a book called Orlando, oh. and that's what this collection is based on. Off her poem? Or off of the book. Oh, off that of the book. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. That's and super so I cool. looked up what Orlando was about because I've never read it. And Orlando is like a biography. Right. Um a, and the main character ages 36 years throughout the biography and oh. also transitions from a man to a woman during that time. Kim, wow, that's super cool. That this is what you base it off. Like that's yeah, super so I'm excited to see that too. I don't really know, right. like, I mean, I don't know the story, so I don't really know if we'll be able to, like, see that influence, but yeah, I think exactly. it'll be cool to see. Okay, interesting, Kim. I'm so excited to see. <laughs> oh, they presented it super creative, too. Yeah. Is it a street? I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell what it Must is. Must mean, like, shapes? Question mark? Question mark, <laughs> question mark. Oh, wait. Oh? Okay. Uh-oh. Uh oh, fashion really coming for us. <laughs> oh, <gasps> it is not a street. I don't know what it is. It looks like fixtures almost. Dang. Oh, wait. oh I, I like it. Oh, though. it's like a library. <gasps> Do you see that? It's like a bookshelf. Librarian. Mm-hmm. Oh, and now we're focusing in on one book. Oh. This is really interesting. Both of these collections we've watched today have very interesting, like, sets. Right. This one, this one is taking its time to set up, though. It, like, really is trying to set a mood. It's really trying to make us, like, uh, anticipate the right. clothes. Which I am. It's working. I want to see the stuff. I know. I'm like, come oh? on, Glow. Show up. Somebody's coming. Oh. 
They're bringing trouble. <laughs> <You> seemed <upset. laughs> Ow. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. Our first look at an actual model. All right. Okay, so this is Demi Moore that's walking. Oh, like a celebrity. Yeah, she's an actress. Wow. She's married to Ashton Kutcher for a while. <gasps> she was? Yeah. Demi Moore. I did not know that about you. Oh my gosh. Her they like picked the right off of her. Oh, I her love chest that blazer. With that, like, wow. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay. Who's this coming up behind her? Okay, I like how it's almost a dress, but it's not a dress. Like, you know, and the earrings were a great choice that are like I do 20 like the earrings. feet long. Okay, so they have both men and women in this show too. Or at least Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Maybe not. Just kidding. Maybe not. Hmm. Oh, I like the book accessory. Do you see that? I know, like a, a switch. Oh, weird. It's like little cells that they go to stand in. Oh, oh wait, she's wow. opening the book. Okay, th this they spent probably so much time on this set design. Like, so much. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. Oh, she that's looks Bella famous. Hadid. That's <gasps> Bella Hadid. That's why she looks so famous. Oh, mm -hmm. my gosh. I love that, though. I love the, like, overcoat. Yeah, the overcoat is my favorite part of that. Oh, one. that's cool, too. I want to know who what this famous person is. I don't know who she is. But I do like that with the texture. Wow. Bella Hadid's dress is my favorite so far. I yeah, think. me too. That one's really cool. Oh, okay. I like that one, too, because it's like Cinderella. This is Kate Moss. Oh, you know she's, Kate Moss she's a supermodel, too? She's a supermodel, yeah. Okay, I didn't know who she was, but now I know. So Dang. they're like little Look cells. at that train, oh, too. F. F for so Fendi. That's the Fendi logo right wow. there. Wow. Like I wonder how long it took to like build this set. Like huh. That's <laughs> so elaborate. And it looks like they do have, like, men and women, like, at least masculine and feminine presenting people. Right. So that's cool. I like that. Okay, I like her energy, to be honest. I like her she's energy. She's like, uh, she looks like she's going to kill you. Like, you know. I don't really like the boots with her, though. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice she was wearing boots, to see, be honest. See, do you see? They're, like, oh, you yeah. kind of see them. I don't really like the boots with her. But. This one reminds me of Princess Leia, like, from Star Wars. Like, yeah, it's, like, long Princess. and flowy. Yeah, and right. it's. I like this is like is this exactly what she wore, Princess Leia? I feel like it almost is. Mm -hmm. Except for she didn't have the little bag. I like it. the sleeves, the that are kind of folded in. That's nice. Huh. I don't see if I'm honest so far. I'm trying to like figure out what their inspiration is. It just all seems like like you told me at the beginning, but now it just seems like dress. Well, I think it's hard because we don't we haven't read the story. Right. So, so maybe if we like, knew the maybe story. Maybe if we knew the story we would know a little better. I mean I like it so far. Uh, hmm. It's not like my favorite, but I like it. Okay, oh, okay so this is Oh Cara that's Cardell. Yeah, Cardell. Oh, so you know her. Yeah, she's like actress. She's yeah. at everything. She was a model first and then an actress. Oh, she was? Yeah, I did not know that. She got famous for being a model. Okay, my one thing that's terrible is, like, whenever there's a suit, I'm like, oh, I don't love suits. But this is asymmetrical, so maybe I'm into I this. I love a suit. I'm really? I'm a fan of a suit. I don't know why I don't like suits, but I don't like them. But they're doing that's asymmetrical style, so it's, like, very... Yeah, I like the asymmetrical. I wonder if that's... Because, like I said, it um, is about... Um, Right. Person that transitions from man to woman. So I wonder oh, if that's I didn't why, even like, take that into account. Dress is like well, half yeah. of it's like a dress and the other half is like a suit. I mean, that's a total guess. I is it? No is idea. it okay? Um, you already said, but I totally missed it. Is it um, transitioning from man to woman? Yes. Okay, super interesting. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. The suit jacket was a great touch then to put in there, like a symbol See, of masculinity. Now you like it. Right. Oh, I like this. Okay, the ca cape. anytime there's a cape, we like it, though. <laughs> That's true. We love a cape. Right, That's yeah. true. It is a pretty cape, though, to mm -hmm. give them credit. Yeah. Oh, that was another one. See, oh, I love their choice of models. Yeah, the models are good. But they just picked, like, super famous people, so it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, they like, picked, like, pretty famous people. But I feel like that kind of works because Ch Kim Jones has talked about before that he's, like, inspired by like celebrities and things like that. So that kind of makes oh, sense. Yeah. <gasps> okay, not this, this one is one? my favorite so far. Oh, I, I just like, like how that. she's walking with her hands together. Like that's so <laughs> cute. I do like that coat a lot. Oh, she looks so warm. She does look very warm. 
in yeah, the roses. I really okay, love that but, coat. That's so cute. They hand did that coat, right? Yeah. That must have taken mm -hmm. forever. That's that the other coat. thing about couture is it's all like hand made. Oh, oh that like. must take so long. I like the beading on these sleeves. Yeah. Wow. And the earrings are really interesting. I don't know. I wonder if that was made by them or if they collaborated with somebody. I'll need to look that up. Right. Wow. I'm okay. So is this the showstopper? Oh, it is? I think I didn't so. really have any opinion about it. <laughs> like, it's definitely <laughs> not my favorite. Right. Like, I did not realize. Like, they're just putting a lot of focus on it. Well, it's because it's the showstopper, I think. Oh, oh just wait, kidding. no, no, it's, it's not, not the no, show. They were just, before it was like people coming and coming and then now they they're took a slowing break. down. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. See, this one I like oh, just because of how Oh, this is Naomi Campbell. The, oh, she's really famous too. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah. I love this one because of how it's just like, how it's cut, how it's just like a robe. I want to see more up close of that cape detailing on the back with like the little pieces. Do you yeah. see that? Yes, That's like they so did cool. so. Oh, they're trying to show us now. They're like, look at that cape. But they're showing us through glass. I want to see No glass. Close. Why did you Oh, do and that they've added us? some fog now. Oh my gosh, they're really changing that up. Yeah, the set for this is like crazy. I wonder how long it took to build that. I feel like so much. <laughs> so much time. Dang. Well, I really like this piece of how it's just a robe. It would be so yeah. hard to keep clean. Yeah. <laughs> Go dry up. Oh, she's walking up some steps. Right. And I would be yeah. so afraid to wash it if I was like, oh, my God, this is a million dollar well, Yeah, I, I don't dress. think you'd really wash it very often. Right, yeah. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay, this is where they're, like, being dramatic. So this, I bet, is the show. Stuff. No, that's, <gasps> that's That's the him. designer. That's Jones, yeah. Oh, I really like Kim Jones's haircut. I, he's, like, when he worked at Louis Vuitton, he was very known for his streetwear. Yeah, he's cute. Um, he's and so, so it's interesting now that he's, like, a couture mm -hmm. creative director. But I feel like it really works. Like, his right. his style has lent towards couture for a while. Yeah. So it fits. Wow. Okay, so that was it. That's so, okay. Okay, I want to hear what you think about it. I thought it was really that. good. Um, right. I, yeah, it was different kind of than what I was expecting but that makes sense because you know this is Kim Jones being the creative director now yeah. not um the person that it was before I wish that because one thing that Fendi is known for mm. is their fur coats that's actually how they started really is they were like made fur coats I so I kind of wish that there was more of that right um but because there was like one fur coat and I think that was it. But I could see yeah, I don't how even he, because fur, fur coat. coats aren't really couture maybe they're, anymore. Maybe they're moving it away from it too because they like, there's a lot of people like of anti fur stuff by now, but I don't know. Well, they, they've they made um, synthetic fur coats in the past too, but. Oh, okay. But yeah. yeah, I don't know. So I liked it though. I liked it. I thought the set was really cool. I wish that I had read this book because then I feel like I would appreciate the pieces right. a little bit more. But I really liked the details on, like, especially that last look with the cape. And yeah. then, um, like, Bella Hadid's look, I really liked. That one was probably my favorite. The dress. With Bella Hadid's. With the, yeah, the dresses I just, are cute. I'm a huge fan of sheer, and I really liked the sheer over I Okay, I did really appreciate the sheer over everything. Good mm -hmm. idea. Like, good design idea. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. what would you give it out of five? I, okay, if I'm honest about like what I thought of it, I Be would give like yeah. maybe like a two out of five. Oh, I didn't, okay. I didn't, I I thought it was very beautiful, like so pretty. Mm -hmm. But I think like okay, the reason why like if I compare the ones I like versus like the ones I don't like, mm -hmm. like for like this one that I didn't love as much, and I think it's because like it's um. It also just, it felt kind of unattainable still. Like, you know, does that make any sense? If, like, what do you mean? Like, okay, well, okay. I'll start with, sorry, I'm still, like, all over the place. But, okay, <laughs> like, I like what I mean by unattainable is that, like, it just felt like it was more for, like, I know it's a fen Fenty. Is Fendi. Not, Fendi is not for. Fenty is Rihanna's. Oh, Fenty, Fenty is Rihanna. Okay. Is That's where I have heard of Fenty, so Fenty is for it. Mm -hmm. But I feel like Fendi, it, like, has the vibe of it's more for, like, like way upper class. Like, you're, like, you know, yeah, like, I super mean, rich, which is fine, mm -hmm. which is fine. But it just is, like, 
I like, I guess I'm not the audience, so I don't feel connected to it. So I'm just like, eh, it's all mm, right. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I can see that. Yeah. So it's just like, okay, like they're but. not really focusing on like your demographics. Either. Right. Yeah. So I don't, I don't yeah. really feel mm-hmm. connected to it at all. Cause mm-hmm. I'm like, just like, it's like, you, it's for like Bella Hadid. That's who it's for. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you know, I get like, that. so I just yeah. am like, like, I'm like, I'm sure Bella Hadid loves it so much, but I would just give it as like, I don't know if I like, if like the designs I like are the ones where they like use a lot of color and they use mm-hmm. a lot of texture, yeah. which in this one, this was more about everything looks really soft. I feel like. Yeah. It was like, the that. color palette but, was very soft. Yeah. Everything yeah. was like soft and like, like, you know, like, n- like it was like almost silks. aloof. Yeah. Yes. It mm-hmm. felt very aloof. I think is the mm-hmm. right word. Okay. And that's I where it's like, that. I agree with that. Yeah. Actually. Cause it was like, it wasn't like anybody who was trying to like hurt you or was like aggressive, but it was just like somebody who's doing their own thing. Like kind of okay. independent. To me, what it kind of gave me the vibe of is mm-hmm. like 1920s house coats. Oh. Do you know what I mean? No. Okay. House I'll show coats, you some 19... pictures. Yeah. Please do. Because I'm not really sure what that's all about. <laughs> 19, okay, like, house coat. and these are not the fur coats. The house no, coat. no, no. A house coat is like, so it'd be like what you wore in the house. Kind of right. like a robe, I guess. But yeah, oh. here's kind of like the style. Yeah, like, like you also, I mean? like you do your I own feel thing. Like it's, I feel like it's more like the softness of everything, like you pointed soft. out, where mm-hmm. it's like a lot of silk, a lot of like right. very delicate almost things and even the sleeves were long <laughs> were, were long and kind of flowy like that so like right. to me that's kind of what oh my it God. makes is me this, think of if we go up there is that not the dress bella wore like it's similar yeah <laughs> it looks just like the dress you wore yeah mm-hmm. so it's like mm-hmm, super interesting super interesting yeah which like i don't again i haven't read the story so i don't really know but like yeah, okay that, that's kind of the vibe it gave me I, well, the only thing, like, I don't know if this is related to the story at all, but the, the one thing I did really appreciate was, like, the, the half suits where it was, yeah. like, one sleeve was on. Well, that's the suit. That was cool. That's cool about, like, because before you yeah. said, you were like, I don't get why they're doing that. And then I right. brought up the story and you were like, oh, oh. and now you really appreciate it. So I that's totally cool. I like when fashion cool. can, like, tell a story yeah. like that. And I, I, th- I think I appreciate asymmetry in fashion, too. I do, too. I like it when it's mm-hmm. done well. I feel like, you know, the classic like one strap thing I don't really like but if right. it's something like that where it's like half of it is a suit and half of it's a dress I yeah. think that's really it's cool. It's like communicating the mm-hmm. story which yeah, is exactly. like super interesting you know. Yeah. But yeah I like you know because I think the like what I got from the message mm-hmm. of it was like I, like all of the dresses kind of had a similar message but I guess that was in all every design so like every a designer well, so yeah, far has like, like similar a, messages. Everything every has a theme. It's right. all cohesive. Yeah. Yeah. And I oh, think our light just, just died. Oh. <laughs> oh, whoops. That's all right. That's all right. That's okay. Yeah. All right. Well, oh, no. Oh, back. it's We're back. back. Yeah. Ah. Um, but I think it yeah. was just this message. I didn't love as much of the, like, you know, of the the energy of aloof, like, you know. Okay. Like, you know. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I don't know. Everybody's got their So you gave it that. one point more than you gave Chanel. I Why did. do you think I our light's just gonna be dead? Why do you think you gave it one point more than Chanel? Yeah, um, because I think I, it was probably got that whole point from like the suit on the side, and <laughs> like it was yeah. so cool. And plus, mm-hmm. I just like dresses a lot, so like I yeah. loved all the dresses in there. I was like, That's wow, true. flowy in the capes. Like yeah, I loved the I love flowiness the of it. I loved mm-hmm. the flowiness, and I loved the um, what's the word? Softness. Flowiness, yeah. softness, and mm-hmm. then the asymmetrical suit. That was cool to me. I agree. So that like gave it a whole extra point. But like, you know. Yeah. I yeah. would have given it a three out of five. Yeah. I think So it, not oh not your highest too. Not my highest. I mm-hmm. mean it it was very I liked it. I think right. yeah, the light's just gonna not work. I liked yeah. it. I think um it was a good like debut for Kim Jones. Yeah. And I feel like it the attention to detail is what I really right. liked about it, like especially on those like cape pieces and the very fine embroidery I really enjoyed. Ooh. But overall, I didn't think it was like anything that yeah. crazy. I do, I do really like it in like connection to what it was based off the story. Right, I wish yeah. I knew the story and then no I feel like can. I'd be more connected to it. 
But yeah. to me, it almost didn't really seem very Fendi to me, which is yeah, why I feel like I yeah. didn't give it More. as high as I could. And I'm interested really? to see, like, when the Fendi women's wear and, like, when those yeah. collections come. I'm interested to see what those look like. So this was different than Fendi is normally like. Do you think it, I mean it's it kind of reminded me of like very old Fendi, which makes oh, sense. Oh, uh, go Kim but Jones. But it seems quite different than what we've seen recently. Right. Okay. See, so maybe yeah. that was what he Kim Jones. Which was is might be maybe what he was going for. Which, yeah. in, like in that case, he that's, did a great job. That's also why I want to like give it higher score. It's because I'm like Kim Jones. This is your first time. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, you like we did so give good. It a little like pat on the back. Right. Um. Also, you know, we should talk about too. What the set. Of what they did. The like set the, was crazy. It was very crazy. I feel like it would have taken a million years. It must have but, taken forever to figure yeah. out. Um, I see. Okay, it ha- wasn't my favorite set though. My yeah. favorite was the desert, and I then do like that one. After the desert, it was, gosh, where they wore the big gold Valentino. shoes. Valentino. Oh yeah, Valentino set was yeah. so good too. I agree. I agree. Because like yeah. um, um, the other day we were talking about it, and Elise who's actually over there in the room, yeah. pointed out that, like, the set and the clothes for Valentino really went together. And mm-hmm. I was like, wow. Yeah. Like, Hi, this is editing Alexis. Um, I'm just adding this note real quick because um, Elise and I were talking about it the other day. Elise, what she said is that the set for Valentino didn't go to be- go together with the collection. Like, the set was very traditional and then the collection was very modern, and it was the juxtaposition that she liked about it. So, editor's note, there you go. But the, uh, for this set, I was kind of distracted by it, I feel like. Yeah, it was kind of distracting, and I liked mm-hmm. the little rooms they had, like the one with the bookshelf yeah, and the one creative. with the book. I felt like that fit with the story they were trying to tell, but the rest of it didn't really fit to me, because like right. all the glass is very modern. Yeah. And that's so not the vibe the clothing had. So, right. I agree. With your order, I feel like number one would be the desert with Rahul Mishra. Number mm. two would be Valentino and the castle that they used. Right. Because the clothes and the castle really worked well together. So good, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. so, so sets I get, I'm learning are super important in fashion. Yeah. Fashion. Mm-hmm. Like, they make so Well, especially sense. these days because they're not doing live shows really Oh, anymore. so that's like a lot So of before them. it was more like, you know... Mm. You had to choose a place that was big enough for everybody to kind of sit in. So it didn't. But really now they that. can be yeah. a little more creative with it, like with Raul Mishra being in the desert and like with these right. kind of isolated cubes with Fendi. They wouldn't have really been able to do that before. Yeah, which so. is super different, super interesting. Yeah. Wow, cool. Go Fashion Week. Go yeah. Fashion Week. Well, so is that okay. all the designs of the thing? Or no, the- there's a lot more, but it would take. You know, a forever if we meters. talked about all of them. Well, I'm glad yeah. we did Rahul Mishra. Mish, Mish, how do Mishra. I say Mishra for sure? Because Rahul Mishra, so good. So cool. Yeah, I agree. The mushroom ones, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for the mushrooms. Yeah, for real. Okay. Well, we're going to sign off because Elise really wants to watch uh, Spider-Man 2. Woohoo! Get in so. here, Elise. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> how should we sign off? Um, We should sign off by, like, just shaking, shaking it up. Have a good day or night.